Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the 42 milliliter Grade 2 Titanium Porsche Design Dashboard Chronograph P6612. So it's 42 millimeters in diameter. It is 14.2 millimeters thick. From lug tip to lug tip, it is 50.2 millimeters, and it has a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw this watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can get a sense of how it fits. You can see that it's not excessively broad, and being mostly sapphire and titanium, it's very light. It is not terribly thick, and I do believe you could wear it underneath most cuffs, especially with the domed bezel. I recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference see my hand, my arm, get a better sense of proportion. The watch includes a strap that is Porsche branded. You can see it has a little molded in spline across the top, the Porsche design logo. Tire treads, as you would find on a Porsche sports car on the bottom, and it's fairly thick. It's a conforming strap that traces the downward slope of the lugs and the curvature of the case, and it is a strap that will be cut to length. So this is an uncut Porsche factory strap, you can see there's some scoring built in, so you can more easily cut segments. We will cut it to suit your wrist. Double deployant clasp, you can see it is a double deployant. It's a, these tags are always a pain, a non-sequential close, which means you can close both sides, either one, in order. And it's a twin trigger release and made of quite thick gauge media blasted and satinated titanium, so it's gonna be quite secure on the wrist. You can see there's a little screw fixing the panel that clasps and crimps the strap on each side. The case is media blasted, which means if it ever gets scratched, it can go back to Porsche design for service and be media blasted again. It doesn't have to be reductively polished down the way steel, platinum, or gold does. You don't have to remove material to fix it, you just blast it again. It's a fluid organic form with lovely tapered lugs that wrap around profile, the case band flow seamlessly into the lugs, flow seamlessly into the side of the lugs. Though you can see they have a little bit of an under-tucked angular taper, but that's from the bottom, not from the side. That wraps up from the bottom, as you can see. The case features a sort of diamond hobnail pattern on each crown, as well as the knurling around the crown for winding and setting. We have these little shear guards and shoulders for the chronograph crowns. And then we have a crown, it is a screw-down crown. The watch is 100 meters water resistant, and it has a logo to remind you that this is the dashboard chronograph by Porsche Design. Taking a quick look at the dial of the watch, it features a sporting tachymeter scale, which you can use with the chronograph to gauge the speed of, say, your Porsche over a kilometer. Now, there's also a dished Rayhot that unifies the bezel with the dial base. We have this dished profile outboard that slopes down to the dial, which features applique indices, nice upscale touch. You can also see there are polished chapter rings to the sunken sub-registers. That's a real good look. Each one of the sub-registers has a subtle azurage or concentric stamped graining to it, and the timepiece features a dial uh, that is best described as matte black to minimize glare. We'll do a loom shot real quick. And you can see there's plenty of luminescence, including on the chronograph and constant second sub-registers. Turning the watch over, you can see that there's been some customization here. Porsche design with a lovely rotor, evocative of uh, two-piece wheels. If you're familiar with two-piece wheels and three-piece wheels, you understand that bolt pattern and how it fixed the spokes to the rim. The timepiece, of course, is Swiss made, although Porsche design evokes German engineering and design. The watch is still made in Switzerland. It features an ETA 2892. 42 base. The 28942 is a modular chronograph made by ETA that's based on the 2892A2. So it's a bidirectional automatic winding, 8 beats per second, 37 joules, 42 hour power reserve, and it features a, a quick set date as well as hacking seconds. It also uses a vertical clutch system. The chronograph module uses a vertical clutch, so if you start the chrono, there's no jump or stagger like you get with a lateral clutch, so you get a very efficient and seamless engagement of the chronograph operation. You can see it's machine finish, but there's some handsome finishing there with engine turning, media blasting, polishing, and 
chemical bluing of screws. It's a good looking movement. It's a workmanlike luxury watch that is designed to be minimalist. It's designed to be Teutonic, albeit Swiss in precision. And I think both characters are unified in this watch. Reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.